Hey guys, today I'm continuing uh, to rent and watch movies that I might otherwise have not seen in the theater um, due to trying to stay out as little as possible and, and be stay safe from this virus and what's going on, just being careful. Uh, so I actually bought used in Redbox Brightburn. Uh, this movie came out um, last May 2019 um, and it's about a 12 year old boy who finds out that he uh, not only was not just adopted but he actually came from a spaceship that his uh, adopted parents found that had crash landed on their farm. Um, Elizabeth Banks plays the mom and she's great in this. Uh, so the boy, he, they discover, you know, as he gets older, he's, he's got some superpowers. Um, and it's an interesting story because he does not go the route of, you know, doing good with this, he turns bad. Uh, so he, you know, does some pretty crazy things with these powers. And uh, there's a lot of like tension in this. There's, just, there's some scary elements uh, and dread, so it's not your typical, you know, superhero type film, uh, which is good. It was very interesting. Um, it's kind of a low budget flick, and uh, I thought the whole idea was cool. It's kind of like Superman if he went bad, you know, only as a 12 year old boy. Uh, so the cast was pretty good, and I think the story was good. Um, James Gunn produced this. I don't know if it's really relevant to anything at all since he didn't direct it, but his, his brother and I believe his cousin wrote it. Um, I, I liked it. I was looking on some reviews before I saw it just to get a heads up, see what people were thinking, and uh, it didn't really have like a good audience score. Uh, critics were kind of so-so on it, but I thought it was pretty original and uh, something different, you know. You're used to just seeing superheroes as a good guy, and uh, this being like a low-budget horror superhero type class, you know. I thought it was cool. So I would recommend you go see Brightburn um, in Redbox or Amazon or whatever it's on. I'm, just, I'm sure it's on some streaming right now. But it was cool, something different. Um, I doubt there'll be any sequels because it didn't seem to do that well at the box office overall. But the budget was low, so you never know. But uh, Brightburn, definitely something interesting to see. I say check it out.